Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another video. My name is David Delano with Get Sports Strong. Be sure to check out GetSportsStrong.com along with follow Get Sports Strong on Facebook and Twitter. Another website where you can look at all my picks, bet on GetSportsStrong.com. And I'll also have any other uh, free picks that I'm making for today posted on that site. Got a free pick for you here and a pick that I like a lot for Monday, June 4th. We're going to go to San Diego where the Atlanta Braves will be facing the San Diego Padres. Got Julio Tehran on the mound for the Braves against Clayton Richard for the Padres. Tehran 4-3 and three on the season with a 4.03 earned run average. Richard 3-6 and six on the season with a 4.74 earned run average. So... Not terrific there when you just look at that on the surface. Looking at some of the numbers here, in their careers, uh, first of all, Tehran in his career is going to be 4-2 uh, in two against the uh, San Diego Padres. And Richard is 0-6 in, in his career against the Atlanta Braves. So that is a little alarming. Now, one thing with Richard... In those uh, starts, he's 0-6 with a 7.05 earned run average. However, you don't want to completely stray away from the Padres on that number alone because only one of those starts has come after 2012, and that was last year, April 15th, where he did allow four in runs and nine hits over six innings pitch, and that was a loss as well. Now, in Tehran's uh, last start against the um, Padres, that uh, took place on uh, April 14, 2017. He allowed two earned runs over six innings. The uh, Braves did pick up the win, 5-2, to two, as a state of before. He's 4-2 and two in his career against the Padres, even though the Braves are 4-4 four and four in uh, those games overall. He does have a 3.76 earned run average against them. Now, Tehran on the season so far has been better on the road then at home, he has a 3.18 earned run average on the road with a 3-2 and two record. Richard this season at home has been uh, better as well. He has a 3.86 earned run average, but just a 1-3 and three record over uh, seven starts. Now, another thing to look at here, Atlanta Braves right now, Believe it or not, after the Milwaukee Brewers, the Atlanta Braves are actually the second most profitable team to bet on in baseball this season, where the Padres are 17th. Basically, what that means is if you bet on the Braves every single game this season, when you kind of look at the value as far as how big of a favorite they are, how big of an underdog they are, you would have the uh, most second most profit after Milwaukee. Uh, the Red Sox did get a big upset win over the Astros tonight, so they're getting close on Atlanta's heels, but right now Atlanta is still second. Now, also on the season, the Atlanta Braves are 19 and 12 on the road, and the San Diego Padres are 16 and 20 at home. Overall, I mean the Braves as well against left-handed pitchers. Richard for the Padres is a left-handed pitcher. When they face left-handed starters, the Braves are 11 and 8 this season. They're hitting 268 against left-handed starters, and they're averaging 5.6 runs a game. The Padres, when they're facing right-handed starters, they're 17 and 24, and they're hitting 234 against them. So, um, looking at everything, I could go into more. I do like the Atlanta Braves as a slight underdog. Right now, I'm seeing them at plus 107. I like the Atlanta Braves to get the win on the road with the underdog value. So, I'm going to go with the Atlanta Braves on Monday. June 4th, this game starts at 10-10 on the East Coast, 7-10 Pacific Time on the West Coast, obviously. A couple other things. If I post on these other games, you can check out BetOnGetSportsStrong.com. Looking at the Tigers and Yankees doubleheader, you've got um, Luis Severino going in Game 1 for the Yankees. That line's not posted yet. I'm assuming that that price is going to be high, but he's going against uh, Drew Verhagen for the Tigers. Gotta like um, Severino and the Yankees in game one. I'm not going to go too deep into that yet, but um, one alarming stat that I did come across, the Detroit Tigers in the opening game of doubleheaders, 8-25 over the last 33 opening games. 
of doubleheaders. So not sure what the price will be yet, but have to like the Yankees there in game one. Um, it's minus 300 or something like that. We are not going to do it. But go ahead and check out bet, bet on GetSportsDrawing.com and we'll tell you what we do. Now in game two of that doubleheader, and one thing with me and doubleheaders, I like to, none of these are official plays yet because sometimes I like to see what happens in game one for a post on game two. But right now I actually like the Tigers in game two, especially at least on the run line. Like right now in game two of the doubleheader, I'm seeing the Tigers at plus 170. And uh, the run line, meaning for Detroit to um, lose by less than two runs, meaning if they lose by a run, you still win, plus 110. Pretty good value when you look at Mike. Mike Fires hasn't done great for the Tigers, but he's been solid. But when you look at that, he is going to be uh, facing Domingo Herman. Um I mean, this kid, Herman for the Yankees, over his last three starts, he has a 9.41 earned run average. And the Tigers are playing pretty solid baseball right now. So for the Yankees to be minus 200 in game two with a doubleheader, I think it might be the perception that the Yankees are just way better than the Tigers, but the Tigers are playing pretty well. So right now I'm thinking Yankees in game one of the uh, doubleheader, Tigers in game two of the doubleheader. That's the way it's looking. And I'm going to keep an eye on the total. Maybe it'll drop in game two of the of the doubleheader. Over 10 runs, as high as it sounds, might be a play there. But official play for Monday, June 4th is going to be the Atlanta Braves money line on the road. And then also strong leans to make sure check you check out betongetsportstrong.com to see what I do in the Yankees-Tigers doubleheader. But right now, I'm strongly leaning toward um, Yankees in game one. Maybe on the run line if, the, uh, if, if it's a crazy price. And then Tigers on the run line in game two. Let me know what you think. Be sure to um, go ahead and subscribe on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. Along, check out Bet on Get Sports Strong, along with GetSportsStrong.com and Get Sports Strong on Facebook and Twitter. God bless everybody. Big NHL game going tonight. Um, not really big on handicapping the NHL. Not really my strong suit, but um, look, looking forward to enjoying a great game tonight. God bless everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your Monday.